What's up guys? I'm Jed Evendroth and this is Big Man Fitness. So, been through this journey with you guys and we've been talking about, you know, my addictions, my, my issues. Why am I bringing that up? Why am I telling you guys about it? So, fitness is a journey. The idea of being healthier, being a, well, trying to be a better person in a way, right? We're, we're pushing ourselves to expand who we are and to better understand ourselves. Now, if, you, if you've been around for this channel for a while, you know that at one point I'd lost a lot of weight. And let's be honest, I gained, obviously gained it all back, but why? What was the underlying issue? We well, can say, yeah, I just gave up and I literally just kind of, hey, this is what it is, right? And I kind of took that mentality of, eh, this is what's going to happen. You know, it's, it's, it is, well, it is what happened. It is what it is. But in reality, I need to find that underlying issue. There's probably something you need to do too if you're trying to take this journey. Now, of course, I didn't have to find it now. I could find it when I've lost the weight. But I know me. You see, I've said this before, and I'll say this time and time again. You can, you can basically tell anybody any story you want. But when it comes down to you the person you're trying to make better you can't lie you went and had some double cheeseburgers your body knows you went and scarfed out some hibachi or some chinese food your body knows again this isn't a you can't lie to yourself so all in all and i'm not saying you can't enjoy those things I'm just saying, know yourself, know what you can do, know how you can do it. <coughs> Excuse me. I still got allergies like crazy. It's that whole idea, finding that underlying issue. For me, it's, it's a lot of, or let's say a big part, is that addiction. I have this, this right here in the palm of my hand. It's an addiction. And, and I'm, I found it. Now I need to, I need to figure out what to do with it. But the other part is knowing me, I kind of gave up. That's over here in, in this hand. It, I just said, hey, when I, when I lost a lot of the weight, I was getting close to my goal and I kind of, I don't want to say I gave up, but I did. I gave up and I, well, I could have done better, should have done better, but I didn't. And so, here we are. I'm back. I'm well, not a square one. Because over the last like three weeks, I've lost like a combined 15, 17 pounds actually. Close to 15 pounds. One week I did really well and the other two weeks it was kind of a little bit here and a little bit there. So, the weight is coming off. I don't expect it off in six months, nine months. This is a journey. But in that journey, I'm gonna find out about myself and how to make myself better. So if overeating is one of my problems. Okay, now when I'm losing that weight, well, how does it, how is it gonna be better? And that's, that's what I'm trying to find, what I'm trying to figure out. Because when I get down to that weight and I get to my goal, I'm gonna to have to start really eating to put the muscle on that I'm gonna lose. Now, eating correctly versus eating out. I mean, everybody can tell you, a Big Mac meal with large fry and large drink is close to 1,500 to 2,000 calories alone. Well, heck, that's most of my eating almost all day. There is a big difference in that clean eating. And that's where I really kind of tricked myself because, and I'm not saying I went out and ate Big Macs every day, but 
I have that mentality of I don't have to track every day. Not all of us do. And I know what's right and I know what's wrong, but I was allowing those cheat meals more and more often and allowing those, I'm kind of hungry and I did work today. I did good. I'm going to eat. And that caught up to me. That's what I'm saying. Eh, maybe I don't need that cheat meal. Except every more, less often, if that makes sense. I, I need greater distances between them. I can still have them. I can still go to cookouts or friends and family. I can still go over for dinner or go out to dinner and have a wonderful meal prepared by somebody else. But 90, well, let's say 95% of the time, maybe 99% of the time, I really need to focus on me. I need to focus on eating correctly and making sure I'm doing what I need to do when I need to do it. So again, it's about finding that underlying, underlying issue. I've found one of mine, well, a couple of them really. You need to work on you. What are your underlying things that are holding you back? We don't have to call them issues. What are the things that if you were or did or can lose the weight, why haven't you? That's an underlying issue that you're going to have to take on head, heads on, head on. You know, it's not something that you can just kind of <sighs> shove deep down inside. I hope it never comes back because it does. And it comes back with a vengeance. So give it a thought. I'm not saying you have to do it, but it is definitely worth the time. Just like it's worth your time to reach on down here, hit that subscribe button, ring the bell for notifications, and give this video a big thumbs up. Really helps with my channel and helps distribute my channel. You are obviously here, so if you like it, maybe others do too. Give it a chance. You can also find me on Facebook, Jedediah Raymond Abendraw. And from there, I'll lead you to the group I've created for this channel. <clears throat> you can also please and please do follow me on Twitter and on Instagram at JedFDK. And as always, if you don't feel comfortable reaching out to me on any of the platforms I just mentioned before, then please, please, please send me an email, bmfjed at gmail.com. Guys and gals, hope you had a wonderful week. Hope you have a great upcoming week. And as always, stay fit, stay healthy. I'll see you soon. Peace. Mm -hmm.